Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back today with another episode of On The Grill. We have a chicken here, which I'm thinking we are going to use for rotisserie. I say thinking. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. So I want to show you guys how I do my rotisserie chicken. As you know, I've got a, uh, a Nexus grill which has a rotisserie on it. Um, and I've been doing it a few times, just haven't done it for the, for the YouTube videos. So I thought I'll get it out there for you guys so you guys can see exactly how I do it. Pretty simple, you know my process. I've already got my pre-made seasonings. I've got my AP rub, got a video on that, check that out. Pretty awesome, works on everything. Then I have my chicken seasoning. Um, pretty good, but I prefer it for barbecues. And I've got my all-purpose barbecue seasoning. Uh, I'm going to use some oil to just base, just add some hold for the chicken, then we've got an onion, we've got some lemon, then we've got um, spring onions and garlic. Gonna stuff as much of that into the bird and get the pole, put it through, get it good to sit for about 30 minutes to an hour to just soak in some of those flavors, then take it out on the rotisserie and spin that bird. As always guys, you know how I do this part, I try to fast track it, but I'll try to explain my way through it as we go along. First things first, let's get the oil onto the bird so that it can hold these flavors that we want to put on it. Okay, so you see that? That bird is right about where I want it. Now, the next piece is trying to stuff this bird as well as you can, get the pole in it and get it to hold. It's a bit challenging. Might need a, sometimes you might need another pair of hands. This is where I'm probably gonna get two gloves. Um, let's see how it goes first anyway. But well, ideally it might end up with two gloves. But yes, what we want is the pole. This pole is gonna go through the bird. But before the pole goes through the bird, we need to apply the veg that we want to get onto it. I also do, honestly, apply some seasoning on this because it's going on the inside. Could be extra. <laughs> Could be just me being extra, but you know what I mean? Get the flavors going. Some of y'all out there don't know how to season meat. Right? Okay, so got that there. Next piece is our seasoning. Chicken came with some thyme, so I'm gonna put that in there. Okie dokie, this is where we need two gloves now. So, I'm gonna get a fresh pair. All right, I'm back. That was quick, quicker than usual. Um, let's get this bird stuffed. See that, turn it, turn it, see my chicken wing, came away, yeah, there. perfect. Now, that's pretty much there if I'm entirely honest with you. Um, I'll probably only loosen it when I get it on the rotisserie just to make sure that it's perfectly aligned in terms of counterbalance. But I am going to want this to sit out here for at least 30 minutes to an hour might cover it typically i'll get it in the fridge but this bit creates too much problems um just because i want some of that seasoning to seep into the meat before it starts getting too wet and too moist so i'm gonna apply a little bit more seasoning because i feel like there's some areas that i like to hit up but overall that is a pretty well packaged bird i've managed to get it all set up i've only got two hands is spinning so this bag was gonna run for about an hour and a half to I'm gonna have a firmer start checking on it every 
hour, I'll be coming in to check the, the breast, which is pretty much the thickest piece and then the thighs. So it's actually starting to rain. Um, luckily the rotisserie can run waterproof. This is a pretty awesome barbecue guys. I'm gonna do a specific review just for this barbecue, um, gas-based propane tank. But yeah, so as you see, let it do its thing, spinning smoothly. I've got it set to medium temp and we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, YouTube, I am back. I'm excited. It's looking amazing, but I tell you one thing It smells amazing. Like yeah, I think my seasoning is on par But yeah, so I mean it was about an hour an hour and a half I think it was out there. It's actually cooked a lot quicker. The rotisserie does a good job I've got it sitting under a little drip Make believe drip pan um, Got my knives here. You know how to do this and it's really that moment, isn't it, where we do a taste test. So the good old taste test, we want to see how well it's seeped in, how well it's flavoured. So let me just undo this bad boy here. All right, all right, all right, let's do this. Um, start taking this bad boy apart. Got my gloves on. Under that, I've got some heat resistant gloves. Um, I'm going to put this on probably this tray. How am I going to do this productively? Okay, so I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna place it here, I'm gonna divide it. I'm actually salivating, so apologies for that. Let's do this. I wanna go for the leg. Oh. This is um, cooked through, in fact. Yep. It's just uh, coming apart. Coming apart. Can you see that cooked? Straight through to the bone as you see there now it's just dripping but i'm just going to go in for the taste oh wow yeah um this has done some justice that's 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 amazing i don't want to lose any of the juice i'm going to put this over here I'm gonna deal with the with the legs separately. See all that juice here? That's what I'm talking about. Now, I'll tell you one thing. The seasoning went through. The chicken cooked to the cooked through. Very tasteful. I can get a taste of the sauce. Keep in mind. I didn't even marinate this chicken at all. Oh my. You guys know how I do this on taste test. I'm not even trying to play games with you guys. I've got some potatoes in the oven right now. And I'm not even gonna go good with this. Surprisingly, I don't think, I think if you get a very good piece of chicken, um, you don't need to marinate. I normally marinate as inject the skin is crunchy <clears throat> my gosh it's falling apart yeah it's ripping apart the flavors are awesome guys try out my my seasonings they are i've got videos on how i do them <clears throat> get some of that sauce oh yeah Make sure you clean that bad boy. Mm. Oh yeah, I got the drama to myself. Now, again, if you remember how we did this, we get the chicken. Oh, oh my gosh. You get the chicken, you hit it with the AP rub, you hit it with the uh, chicken, my chicken seasoning, then you hit it with the barbecue. 
there's a touch of that sweetness back there um, and you see these these caramelized areas that look like they're burnt that's just after the sugar um, and all you just got to do is make sure you let that sit on the rotisserie I had it at about 150 degrees in there um hour and a half cooked to the bone look at this look at that guys cooked through cooked through just ripping apart just coming off try this guys this is an amazing recipe right here i love the taste of it um you can actually even if you don't put it in the rotisserie you can probably do the same thing in the oven and i think you'll you'll probably achieve the same flavors um barbecue if you want to get it on the outside probably try this on a, on a, on a charcoal barbecue might even do wonders so yeah man i mean guys this was meant to be a short one to show you guys how i do my rotisserie chicken flavor it or season it and it was a killer for me amazing for me i've got some family members around we're about to dive into this piece here um guys stay tuned i tell you one thing i started doing some exercise because it was becoming too much anyway stay subscribed stay stay subscribed keep your thumbs up add your comments guys this is amazing i'm gonna keep the videos coming i'm gonna keep cooking showing you guys some of my recipes i know some of you guys are asking for fish i'm coming on that as well i just love meat so much i slightly gave gave up and forgot about you guys but don't worry it is coming keep subscribed share like comment as always see you on the next one over and out